first question is what <laughs> you, how do you like define the role as a jury member? Oh. What, what, is, what does that mean to you? Oh, I think it's important that I can see a lot of film this year, so, mm -hmm. which is good. Normally, but sometimes it is hard to see a lot LGBT film if you're just sitting at home, and so which is great opportunity. You can just see those film also have a purpose, not you know, to make a judgment. Mm -hmm. And how, like, how do you, how do you do that? Do you just go into the cinema and you like try to be as open as possible, or do you have certain like certain aspects that need to be addressed? Do you know what I mean? Like hmm. what? I don't know. I, I, I definitely, of course, I have to open my mind to see what the film gave to me, right? It's like, uh, but of course, when you see the film, you, your, your experience just coming up to, kind of, talking to the films and. Uh, Sometimes you like it, sometimes you don't like it. Yeah. How how like would you describe your work um, back home? Like what do you what do you do, and what is it like that helps you maybe like you know fill out that job now here at the Ooh. festival? Mm, this is quite a hard question because I'm my daily work is I'm working in NGO and mostly focus on like gender and sexuality, mm -hmm. so sort of like activist. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, for me to see the film always from this, uh, a little bit from like I have to see if this film have a gender perspective or like, uh, you know, more like a diverse perspective. So, I, you know, I bring a lot from my work to see the film, how I, you know, this film are feeling what I think about to will bring interesting or diverse message to the society. Mm -hmm. And how would you describe the current situation um, in your home? Like, how is like the maybe like the, the cinema culture addressing like topics around diversity and sexual diversity in in film and in narratives and, and storytelling? Yeah, you know, China. We we had you know we're not uh, criminalizing homosexuality, but we still have a big part of a censorship mostly are sometimes really have a big problem for the LGBT film so basically we don't have any kind of like openly LGBT film you can really see in the cinema so I think that's kind of a big reality so I think people generally people don't have a chance to see LGBT people in the television or in cinema mm -hmm. but this year there are some playing here at the festival right are you Looking forward already, but this this year at this festival, there there's going to be played some films that deal with that topic. Are you excited for those, or are you? I do because there's two film exactly. about about China. Yes, I think one is documentary, one is a fiction film, and also I'm really I think I'm really interested that the the, the the fiction film San Fu Tian was also past Chinese censorship, yeah. so it was kind of like quite a. Like entry to see what this film about, you know, like because that will be probably also one of the second uh, the, uh, gay films will be shown in Chinese cinema. Yeah. How how do you think it can pass like the censorship? Do you think I it's still like don't know. I, I met the director. I, I I don't think he even don't know how they pass because you know he's not a production company. So I think the production company are dealing with this whole. Mm. Getting the censors, getting the, the the lessons to show in the cinema. So, I, I, uh, yeah, I have to ask more questions to him to find out. Yeah. Okay. And what are you looking forward to most during those ten days? What are you excited about? Good film, mm. and just to learn and to be inspired. To yeah.